Fellas, welcome back to Cringe Confessional, the cringiest show on the internet. I set up an anonymous forum at cringe.coney.gg where my Twitch chat could tell me the worst stories of their life, the most embarrassing things that ever happened to them. We're going to go through it right now with my good friend CringeBot3000 and see exactly how embarrassing my Twitch chat is, shall we? Oh, this one has parentheses, uh, pronouns are she, her. So this is a lovely lady. When I was about 13, I went on my first date with a girl, and I was super excited, cool. dressed up all nice and whatnot. Lovely. I didn't even eat because I had no There's money, but that. from what I saw in movies you had to pay for the ladies meal, yeah. so I had to lie and pretend I wasn't hungry and still get her the food. Oh, that's sweet. You can only pay for one meal, so you just get their meal. Very chivalrous, actually. That's nice. Before we went into the movie, I spent what little money I had on mints just to make sure my breath wasn't too bad. How poor are we talking? Mints are like a dollar. How much are Altoids? And in the movie, I asked okay, to kiss her, got it. which okay. she agreed to. Okay, I But I was an point. idiot child, yep. and when I kissed her, I made the loudest fucking Looney Tunes lip smack kissing noise in this, like, half full theater. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure decent amount of people heard since there were a few people who looked at me. Put it there, Mac. Mwah! What a pissed off Elmer Fudd with that kiss. Ooh. Is that the whole story? You just had a really loud kiss? Imagine going to see a movie, and during the trailers, at the very beginning, you hear the loudest, smackiest kiss of your life. What the fuck is going on back there? Mwah! And you can tell it's a kiss. There's a big mwah on it. My dad and I were big into the NHL and hockey in general. Oh, God. I was okay. pretty terrible and was way too out of shape to play. Okay. But watching hockey was always fun. As long as you're good at fighting, One day apparently. I got the opportunity to go to a Dallas Stars game with my dad. I learned there was a sort of tradition that happened every game. Okay. During the beginning of the game, when they would have someone sing the Star Spangled Banner, uh -huh. every time the word stars was sung, the whole <laughs> crowd would shout stars along with them. Ah, okay. My my games do this too. We had the Oreo thing. They go, oh! I thought this was pretty hype when I was a kid. Sure. So when I went to my second game there, I was excited <laughs> to join oh, in. Oh no, they changed the rules? Yeah, I was gonna say, what did they do differently? The time had come to rise for the national anthem. Yep. Unfortunately, I had a really bad habit of daydreaming, like almost all the time. Did we miss the stars so part? as the anthem was playing, I could only picture myself <laughs> shouting along with the crowd and this looking super cool. This is gonna be cool. awesome. They're gonna love this. Due to me daydreaming, I totally forgot how the national anthem actually goes. <laughs> when the singer said who's got stripes and white stars, I okay. totally forgot which is which. Uh huh. So as the singer said stripes, I shouted the word stars <laughs> as loud as I possibly could into the, the silent crowd. STARS! Is that your kid? The hell is wrong with that guy? <laughs> Bro is nemesis. The, the worst part is it's right before the stars. It's right before. So somebody's getting ready to yell stars themselves, and there's... STARS! <laughs> it's very disruptive. You're ruining it for everybody. Everyone I could possibly see turned <laughs> to look at what was happening, and the group of guys next to us were trying so hard to hold back laughter. Maybe I was crazy, but I could have sworn that even the singer turned to glance at what that noise was. Okay, well, fuck those people. They know what you said. It's not like you were disrupting, like, a funeral or a, a wedding or something. They were about to do it themselves. Of course. Not even two seconds later, the word stars was correctly shouted out by every fan in the arena. But by that time, I was way too embarrassed oh, and really confused good. and completely missed funny. it. I had to take at least 30 minutes in the restroom minutes? after that to recuperate. And I took off my new jersey too because I thought <laughs> nearby fans would recognize me. Wasn't me. I don't know what happened to that guy. I, I, I hope he fell down the stairs and he's not here anymore. I hope they took him to a hospital. That dork that said stars early? Wow, what a piece of shit, right? When I was in elementary school, our class had a group assignment where we had to take a picture of our teacher and make a collage with our teacher's face in the middle surrounded by nice things. That's a little weird, but okay. Such as you have a nice personality, your smile is great, or you're really good at your job. What an insecure teacher. What kind of teacher is this? Teacher needs affirmations. Take all the posters home and put them up on your wall. I was partnered with a girl named Kayla. My favorite movie at the time was Billy Madison good starring choice. Adam Sandler. That's a good movie. And there's a montage after movie. the scene where Adam Sandler's teacher strip teases oh, to try to get him to study oh, where he takes like where a desk portrait going. of his teacher and makes out with it. Uh-huh. Being a young and impressionable kid, I thought that was the funniest shit. 
and proceeded to do the same thing to my collage of my teacher in front of Kayla. So, we all understand that Billy Madison is not aspirational. He's, a, he's like the guy you laugh at. You're not trying to be the Adam Sandler of the Adam Sandler movies. You get that, right? Uh, what did Kayla think? She looked at me with disgust and later on told my teacher oh, no! what I did, and the whole class laughed at me, no, where the don't... teacher just looked confused. Oh, no! Don't tell them! Don't narc! Hold on. Can I find... I have to... You see, this is what this submitter did. <laughs> In front of Kayla. I would be very confused. I was the laughing stock. Of Although I would be kind of flattered, I think, if I was that teacher. If I'm asking all these kids to, 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 to say nice things about me, and that one likes me a lot. Oh, thank you. I was the laughing stock of the school for a whole week. Good. Okay. Or at least until some kid shit his pants playing basketball. Oh, okay. Looking back, I still don't feel the least bit embarrassed. You don't? I just acted like I was a comedic genius and was never punished for my behavior. You don't feel embarrassed at all? Not even a little bit? I'm embarrassed for you. You should probably feel a little embarrassed. A few years later, my teacher ended up getting fired for saying the N-word to a student, and Kayla moved away after her dad went to prison. Don't really have a reason to include this. Yeah, I think you won. In this whole interaction... You won the whole thing. You came out unscathed. I mean, relatively, I wouldn't... You know what? I wouldn't feel bad about it either, actually. Late hip school. I would draw stuff at my table during class all the what time. Kind of stuff? After a while, a girl that sat in that same spot on a different class started writing stuff what there. What kind of stuff? What a cute drawing. How are you? Oh, no. For the next couple weeks, we would make small talk through the table. Okay. She seemed nice and funny, uh -huh. and she started getting playfully flirty. This is a very cute opening. This sounds like an adorable story to tell the kids. This is very sweet. How did you fuck it up? One day during a break, my friend comes looking for me, saying someone wants to see me. It's your friend. He brings me in front of a clearly uncomfortable girl and Aww. her two giggling friends. Cute. She was very pretty. Uh -huh. The second she saw me through, oh, no. her face sank. She looked extremely disappointed. Her friends laughed. Oh my I wanted God, to die right dude. there. Oh I my quickly God. and repeatedly denied being the person they were looking for dude. and got out of there as fast as I could. Oh. Thank God. I never saw any of those girls again. Oh my god, that's awful. Oh, that would form a core memory at the back of your brain. That is a spire to shame. That's awful, man. Yeah, I would pop my ult. If that happened to me, I would, my ultimate is ready. <laughs> it's okay, uggos can find happiness, but not love. Yes. You think you're in love, it's just settling. Hi, Coney. This story starts back when I was in middle school Ugh. and was also in my local Boy Scout troop on this trip. However, things would just continuously get worse. <laughs> okay. To start things off, members of the troop had a buddy to sleep with in their tent, and my only friends in the troop decided to buddy up with some other members. Oh, so that left me to be assigned sucks. with someone I didn't really know. That sucks. After setting up the tent with them, I didn't oh, really talk to so them, awkward. and we went to well, separate things really for the rest friend. of the day. It might be okay. During the night time, dinner the dessert was a fried Oreo or Twinkie, and hey, I was interested on delicious. what it tasted like. A few hours later, however, I wake up in the middle of the night and throw up all over the tent. But to make things worse, I threw up in the face of the person I was sleeping <laughs> with because they were sleeping opposite to me. Oh my god. Is that the worst way to wake up? I can't think of much worse. Oh my god, you sleeping with your mouth open too? Oh, good lord. The tent next to us heard what happened. Oh no! We to get a troop leader to help No, 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 we don't situation. need a troop leader. We don't need the leader. I ended no, no, up no, no, making my that. dad oh, pick me up god. from the woods at 2 a.m. leaving. That person and the tent covered in puke. Oh! But I'm not done yet. Oh, when okay. I return to the meetings that next Tuesday, though I learned that I made my section of the troop clean my tent okay. and I earned the name twin key boy <laughs> okay oh hey are you in chat are you in chat be honest did you get if any of you have been puked on during boy scouts we might have a missed connection here in chat if twinkie boy is in chat please identify yourself we had hot dogs for dinner on the fire too it was bad so it's you <laughs> so okay so we found twinkie boy Coney, permission to harass Twinkie Boy? Permission granted.
get his ass. Let's all make, let's all comment making fun of Twinkie Boy on the YouTube too. Let's all comment below for engagement about how much we hate Twinkie Boy. Right, guys? Like the video if you hate Twinkie Boy. Twinkie Boy, I don't mean this. I just need this to hit 50k. I'm so sorry. So I was sitting at the family computer one day, and in my hunger, I grabbed a raw potato from the kitchen and started eating it. What the fuck? This isn't relatable. Are, did you did you think we were gonna agree? And while I was halfway through the potato, I heard my mom's car That's park in the driveway. Potato. In my rush, I decided the best option would be to hide the half eaten oh, potato so behind the computer desk. So you do have shame. You know it's the wrong thing to do. You know your ass should not be eating the potato, and yet you do it still. You persist. And this was the type of desk where you couldn't see what was oh, behind it. God. So no one knew a potato was back there except for me. That shit is growing ears and eyes. The desk got replaced years oh after this incident. Oh my god. Probably around when I was 17. That shit is sentient. And my parents never mentioned anything to me about the potato behind the computer desk. And for a long time, my parents' house had a really bad ant infestation. <laughs> and I always wonder. Was I to blame for that? Yes! Yes, it was you! You did that! What do you mean, I wonder? Maybe? Maybe everybody else in the family does this too. You're just a family of, of potato enjoyers. Everybody just, that's, they, they thought it was them. Maybe your dad and you are more alike than you think. One night at summer Christian camp when I was about eight years old, I had to pee really badly. How badly? So I left our small cabin and had to walk up this giant gravel hill that led to the bathrooms. Okay. So I start up the hill with my tiny flashlight being scared out of my mind. Yeah, that because it's horrifying. midnight and I'm eight. Dude, I get eight? inside the bathrooms. And the first thing I see on the floor is a massive <laughs> pile of shit with a human footprint in it. All five toes and all. Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody was- this is like a Sasquatch or something. Yeah, this is Bigfoot or- Alright, continue- alright, what next? And for some reason I got really scared that Bigfoot <laughs> had come there to shit so I ran all the way back too. to the bathrooms I'm, I'm, and I'm woke the consular up to tell him thought. about the Bigfoot print I found. <laughs> So we go back up the hill, and I show him this fresh pile of human stomped feces on the tile floor and the look on his face still makes me cringe to this day. He thought you did it and you were being very silly. He thought you were trying to pull the funniest prank of all time. I would be like, show me your foot right now. Later the next day one of my cabin mates said his sleeping bag smelled like poop, and I never said anything. Oh my god, that's very gross. This is a very- this is such a nasty story, man. This is really bad. How could you step and poop and not realize it? It was with bare feet, too. Like, their, the toes were in it. You could see it, like a fossil. When I was in 8th grade, my school had us buy Amazon Kindles for in-class research and uh -huh. other stuff like that. Sure. But everyone used them to just play games in class. Right. The Amazon App Store had an awful selection of games, so our solution was to download a third-party app store called Aptoid to get sick games. Yeah, I, this this eventually does led sound to my Kindle familiar. getting a huge amount of viruses, <laughs> one of which was that hentai ads would pop up whenever oh, I no! opened up the browser. <laughs> okay. One day I was having trouble with my Kindle, so I asked my teacher for help. Bad idea. She calls me over to her desk and shows me the screen where it shows an ad of an anime girl getting railed by an orc. Timothy, can you come to the back of the class, please? What is this? Teacher, what did you do to my Kindle? Oh my god, this is a trap. Her desk was in view of a few of my friends, uh -huh. and they saw it and started dying. <laughs> oh no. She sent oh, me to the principal's no. office, and I had to explain to the principal why hentai ads were playing on my Kindle, oh, and for the rest of the year no. my friends clowned on me for it. Oh, you're orc boy now. Oh no. So there was this really cute guy in my college cooking class. Ooh. Not conventionally attractive, but absolutely my taste. You didn't have to add that part. We bonded over our interest in cooking, and eventually I learned his family was Italian. 
When I first found this Kinda out, mean. it was approaching Valentine's Day, and I saw a golden opportunity. Uh -huh. The day before Valentine's Day, I prepared pizza <laughs> to celebrate his heritage. I put my all into the meal, from uh. making the cheese myself to buying fresh meat at the butcher's. That's adorable. Now it's Valentine's Day, okay. and I wake up really early to begin making it and the, so it's this fresh for school. Sweet. I had also gotten an unused pizza box to put it in, and at the bottom, I wrote, Will you go out with me? Okay. Before we go any further, this is the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm bringing you the pizza. Will you go on a date? Now we're in school and I approach him at his locker with a few friends. Uh huh. I opened the box and said, this is for you. With a slight frown on his face, he slowly picked up a slice and took a bite. And his face turned into an expression similar to that <laughs> if someone who was just told that their childhood pet had died horrifically. Uh -huh. yeah. Turns out my crush fucking hates. Oh. Pizza. Okay. Now feeling uh, really embarrassed, uh, I started panicking and shaking. Okay, th hold on, hold on. Let's be clear. I don't think anybody hates pizza. I think he hated your pizza. This wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> oh, now yeah. that my entire attention is on his displeasure from my food, I start lowering the box without <laughs> noticing <laughs> enough okay. for the pizza to slip out and ruin both of our shoes. Oh my god. In addition, the grease from the pizza had made the writing on the box start to fade, <laughs> so it was now just a bunch of gibberish. Oh, God. Somehow, I mustered up the courage just to ask if he'll go out with pizza? me and for some ungodly reason he said yes. Yeah! We did it! Mission succeeded! Mission success! You did it! Day achieved! You're going out of day! Good job! Well done! not over we're getting married next april and we plan to have a pizza alongside our cake <laughs> what are you a real person hit the s rank music hooray congratulations i need a picture now when I was three, I was staying at my grandmother's house with my baby sister for the day. Okay. While I was watching Peter Pan with my grandma, my baby sister started making a fuss in her crib, so I was alone watching the movie. Sure. I realized that my feet were cold, and suddenly my toddler brain got a brilliant idea. When Peter Pan and the Lost Boys get cold, they make a fire to stay warm. They do. I saw that my grandma had a very large assortment of flowers on her coffee table in the middle of the room, no. so I was good on firewood. Now to start the fire. No I then remembered way. that my grandpa hid a handheld big lighter on a little crevice near the TV stand against the wall, and I had seen him you're, use it no, to start the grill before. Start this was before those lighters had any safety switches on them, and you just pressed the button to turn them on. Are you serious? I managed to get the lighter and proceeded to ignite the oh fire. Oh my god! What I didn't realize is that those flowers were the flowers from my grandfather's ah! funeral. They were soaked in a lot of chemicals to keep them preserved. Dude, what the that fuck? That chemical happens to be highly flammable. The flowers caught fire very quickly and it grew rapidly. Oh my I, god! of course, wasn't worried because Peter Pan and the Lost <laughs> Boys never worried about fire and sat there warming my feet. Dude, I would think you were the devil. I, if I was that grandmother, I would not watch you anymore. You're possessed by an evil dark spirit. Send you back to your parents and give them a good exorcist. That's a fucked up kid. The fire department got there pretty quickly, and thankfully the damage was minimal. Just the coffee table and some flooring around the area had been burned or destroyed. Don't, Jesus I got a very Christ, stern dude. talking to from a fireman about fire safety. Good. And when I told him that, I just made it because know. I was cold. He told me to put on some fucking socks next time. Okay. Does a three-year-old understand anything a fireman is saying to them? When I was in freshman year of high school, I participated in a marching band competition. As I was trying to find my bag, I first picked up a bag I thought was mine and threw some yellow cylinder in the trash because I thought it was garbage. Tennis balls? A friend told me they found my bag that was uranium? and they dropped the first bag and left without a second thought. Okay. As we got on the bus to leave, the band parents started handing out snacks, including Nutter Butters, to all of the students. Oh no. It was an EpiPen. Things were normal until one kid started wheezing uncontrollably. One parent screamed, he's allergic to peanuts. The wheezing kid is motioning to his bag, 
and the parents begin searching his bag frantically. Chatter, this is manslaughter. Holy I shit. I wanted to tell a band parent what happened, <laughs> but there were two issues. Oh, really? One issue being the trash can I threw the pipe in and is roughly three miles away from the bus. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, the one issue is I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not trying to catch a case, you know what I'm saying? The other issue being if I tell them what happened, <laughs> I might face severe repercussions for my action. Yeah, like jail! So I kept silent but told the parents to escort the kid off the bus <laughs> to get him away from the peanut butter. Oh, okay, so now you're directing traffic. Hey, I don't know who did this! I don't know who possibly could have done this, but let's get this kid off the fucking bus! Driver, go! Driver, go! The kid recovered from anaphylaxis safely. Good, okay. Did I feel bad? Initially, yes. What do you mean? However, I feel less bad now because one month later the kid got arrested for indecent exposure. Oh, awesome! Cool! You know, if you killed that kid, he couldn't have done that. If you killed him before, then he wouldn't have he wouldn't have done that. So really, you're like Batman and the Joker. You should have just done it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me paint a picture here. Okay. It's somewhere around 2019, 2020. Okay. I'm in college. I'm a lesbian in Texas. Okay. A girl a year younger than me I befriended from a club asks me out. That's sweet. I accept. But I am torn because I am not that attracted to this person. Okay. I say to myself that it's still worth a shot, and I could even I grow guess to if really your like options her. Are limited, but sure. I'm right. realizing yeah. that I still don't feel those sparks after two months or so. Guilt racks two up in months? me. She confronts me after class and smacks me down for betraying her, saying I was her last chance at love after her previous partner died in a car crash and that I was horrible for leading her on. I genuinely don't know what to say. We have mutual friends, so we still have to see each other often, and Game Jam is coming up, so I need a taxi, since I don't know my way around it well yet. Okay. Turns out she doesn't either, so now I'm sitting in a taxi with my ex-girlfriend who has very specific trauma with automobiles. Oh my god. And this driver must have been my personalized demon, because he almost rams into several cars on the way there. <laughs> Game Jam goes off without a hitch after this, and my ex then makes her animation project the next semester a mini ukulele music video about our breakup. It's presented to everyone in the major. I haven't dated since by the way. Oh my god, I wouldn't either! Holy shit, I would swear off the, the people forever! I would never go on another date after that! That's traumatizing! What the fuck? I don't think that could have gone any worse. When I was four, I was home alone with my dad. Uh-huh. My dad locked himself in his room asleep all day. Oh, that's sad. So I was watching Max and Ruby. They started ice skating, so I had an idea. Chatter, that's very sad. I don't wanna- I don't wanna- I don't wanna blaze past that. That's very sad. I'm sorry for you. I spilled cat Super litter manning. all over the floor, and then put dish soap all over the wood floor. <laughs> oh my god! Then I got my dad's Adam Sandler discs, then skated on the discs until my mom came home. She was clueless and screamed at me. What the fuck is that? What? I had a great idea. Let me overturn the cat litter box and then pour dish soap on it. And then I'm going to skate on some CDs. Are you okay? You need parents around. Stupid babies need the most attention. After she found out, my dad never <laughs> watched me alone again. Yeah. Maybe there's a valuable lesson for dad too. Yeah, okay, a happy ending. Hey, the whole family is brought back together through the antics of one lovable rascal. Well, my great-grandma was really in tune with what she said were her powers. Oh, okay. For instance, you got a magic she predicted that my dad's dog would die on her birthday seven months prior. Did and happen? that it she die in my grandparents' guest bedroom before it was added on. Okay, does Both grandma just want true, attention? And whether or oh, not shit. you believe okay. this is up to you. But I confidently do. Okay, sure. All right, so your grandma is magical and in touch with the spirit realm. Do you see five gifties in my immediate future? <laughs> I see great fortune falling upon a streamer very soon. Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. My vision. It came true. There it is. I got a conversation started at my table and somehow jumped to the subject of spirits death yeah and my great grandma's experiences uh -huh. when on this subject i got really loud and controlling over <laughs> it and the whole class heard me go on and on yeah. and where others could hear me i decided to try and be a smart ass <laughs> to my group and say imagine i died tomorrow i got looks and nervous stares from everyone <laughs> that's really fun i love doing that i love doing that that's my favorite thing what if i died tomorrow stream now aware I swiftly shut I up. I love doing that. That's Kicker very was fun. though, I said this forgetting the next day I was getting my wisdom teeth pulled. <laughs> Two weeks later, 
I'm back at school with many people were looking off put. I thought you were doing that shit for attention. They thought you were really trying to get, you trying to worry some people, man. I couldn't figure out why until someone commented <laughs> that I was alive. For real though, what if I did die tomorrow? What would you, what if, what would that, what would happen then? I'm going to say this every stream and then eventually I will die. And then everybody's going to be like, no way. <laughs> no way he did. He was right! I started college in 2020, okay. which means our first year of class was all on Zoom. Is there any other, is there any worse time to be alive and to start school than this? Other than like the Great Depression or the plague. I would just put my Zoom call on in the background while I played games on my other monitor. Yeah. For a while, I was really into chess because I have to voice my frustration whenever I play games. It meant that I spent about 20 minutes in a Zoom call with more than half of my freshman class occasionally moaning, and, to top it off, I blundered my queen and said, Oh, fuck, my queen. <laughs> this, guy, this guy has a really unhealthy attachment to his, his adult viewing habits. My queen! Why is he doing that to my queen? Oh my I god. I still haven't lived it down, and it didn't help that there is a remix of this floating around on YouTube. Send it right now. It's the new cringe confessional theme song! Please. This is when I was really young. Okay. My parents were preparing me for my big first day of kindergarten. Aww. Teaching me proper etiquette, how to sit crisscross applesauce, not to pick my nose, etc. The first parents. day rolls around when they bring me to school Smart. and for the first day, the parents are allowed to be there for the first couple days so the kids don't That's freak nice. out. Yeah, sometimes Not even 10 foolish. minutes into yeah. the day, I noticed something they didn't prepare me for and I look back at <laughs> okay. them, yelling at the top of my lungs. I exclaim, <laughs> you didn't tell me girls would be here. Oh no! Girls! The other parents and teachers were laughing so hard from what my parents told me. <laughs> they felt really embarrassed. Oh man. This is my earliest memory That's so whenever I think funny. back, this always pops up in my mind. They sent you into a cootie war zone. Girls! That's the crazy thing about kids, dude. They don't know shit. You have to tell them everything. They have zero awareness of the world around them. You have to tell them not to walk in the middle of the street and to look out for cars. They don't understand that cars go fast. I was having a sleepover with my best friend in first grade. I told my buddy, look. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog, okay. and somehow actually got enough momentum from okay. spinning like Sonic that I slammed hard into the wall before hitting the floor. How did you spin dash? How did you do that in real life? You're acting like it's normal. How did you get momentum from rolling? I got a huge bump on my head right <laughs> where I impacted, and my mom ran into the room since the impact was so loud. Okay. I was not allowed to have sleepovers for a couple months after that. That's the end. How did you do that? Just spin in a circle. How do you spin in a circle to get momentum? I've never done that before. Like head down, like do this, like that. Can you do that? The coolest day of the year was when we could come to school dressed up as whatever we wanted for Halloween rather than having to dress in drab uniform colors. Awesome. I was very excited. Cool and decided to dress up as one of my favorite characters from Naruto, Itachi Urge Hat. Not awesome anymore. Couldn't you just be normal? Be the Joker. I bought the headband, the big dumb Akatsuki jacket, okay. and a shitty black wig. I bet you were very cool. Itachi has these lines near his eyes that are very <laughs> distinct. Okay. No one's gonna know who I am without yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark so I drew them on with the Sharpie eyes. Yeah, and there went you go. to class. Yeah. I drew the lines Let's way too close to my Let's draw some black marker on our ducks, face. Though, so as the day went on, my eyes kept ow. watering and stinging, Ooh, and it ow. got to the point where my vision was starting to get blurry. Ooh. I could have washed it off, yeah. but instead I was so dedicated to the accuracy of my character that I powered through <laughs> and even reapplied it in the middle of the day. It's what a touch People started wanted, to yeah. notice that I was struggling through classes with tears streaming down my <laughs> face, and eventually a teacher pulled my aside at the end of class to ask what was up. <laughs> she sent me to the nurse's <laughs> office and the nurse promptly began to wash my face and eyes out as she Ow, could see ink that bled into my tear duct. It's just so sad about what happened to the Leaf Village. I sobbed and Aww. fought her the whole time because she was ruining my excellent costume <laughs> and I was determined to suffer for my art. No, my costume! Being a weeb is dangerous, kids. Holy shit, man. And we're all done! Thanks for tuning in, everybody! Thanks for watching, YouTube! We'll see you guys next time!
You guys want me to kill a Twitch chatter? This is for you. All you have to do is like the video. Here you go. Like the video if you're happy they died. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.